In this video we're going to demonstrate how to install a piston into a cylinder. And to do this we usually start off by letting the piston soak in the oil. So we just have some clean motor oil that's been soaking in here. And they've got the bearing installed. We know which cylinder this is going to go to. They've already measured the cylinder, measured the piston, and matched the two up. Um, we made sure that we know which direction the piston goes into the cylinder by the marks on the top of the, the piston. And uh, so to do this, we've got our, our protective caps here. These are just a couple pieces of hose that will stick over these bolts so that the rod bolts don't nick the crankshaft as they go in. We turn the crankshaft until this journal for the cylinder is, a, is at bottom dead center. Got that in place. And then we'll grab this oil squirt can, squirt a little bit of oil onto the cylinder walls here. We also have the installation tool that we'll use to make sure that the rings get compressed. If you look at the specifications, it also will probably specify how to place your piston rings on the on the piston. And so we've got the piston ring gaps set up. They're 180 degrees from each other. They're not over the uh, wrist pin or the skirt. They've got the also the oil rings have been turned so the gaps don't line up with each other. So they've got the piston ring gaps placed in the right spot. We'll bring this over. Notice the dot on the piston that goes toward the front of the engine. We're going to install cylinder number one. This tool has a top and a bottom. You notice how it, where it clamps there, it's offset. This should go toward the bottom or toward the block. I think it shows you right here on that. It has an arrow saying bottom. So we'll drop that down in there, clamp around and make sure that we grab all of the piston rings. We also want to make sure that none of the gaps of the piston rings fall into the gap here, into the gap in the tool. We make sure that it's this dot that the direction of the piston is lined up exactly perpendicular to the crankshaft. With the handle of a rubber mallet, we're going to try to make sure that the tool is sitting flat against the block. And now we're going to tap the piston in. There are two ways to do this. Some people like to try to do it with one blow. And uh, I've also learned over, over time that it uh, works almost just as well if you just tap it slowly. You just have to watch and make sure that none of the piston rings pop out. Pop out of the gap between the tool and the block here. Make sure that we, we keep that down as much as, we, as possible. In some cases, the, the tool gets bent a little bit. And if it's bent, you'll have to just make sure that it's straight so that it sits flat. If at any time one of the rings pops out, we're going to stop and start all over. We don't just keep pounding or we'll break a ring. <clears throat> so now that we've got that started, we'll turn it over. We'll push the piston up carefully. You can use the, use the hammer to tap it. Now, make sure that the bearing is still in place. You can see that the bearing looks good, and this is where we would apply some engine oil or some assembly loop. To that bearing. And once we get that up into that position, we can take off the rubber caps. So once we've got this in place, we get the cap, we would plastic gauge this bearing to make sure that the clearance is within specification before we do anything. Once we've plastic gauged and determined that everything is all right, we would place some assembly lube on this bearing and install it, put the, put the bolts or the nuts on there and torque them to specification. And once you've torqued one down, we should then rotate the crankshaft and make sure that it turns freely. Go one or two rotations to make sure that everything turns freely and, and smoothly and nothing's binding. And if it works well, turn the next cylinder to bottom dead center, the crankshaft, and install the next piston following the same procedure. Just make sure to plastic gauge each bearing and uh, journal to make sure the clearance is, is proper.